which looks like the inland northwest was a big focus for you. It was, and I'm really happy about that, you know, and I think we did a really just happy about the four, signing. I think four really good football players out of the state of Idaho, you know, and then the two good players out of, out of Spokane, and that, that's very exciting for us. So that's, that's a good thing. We need to keep that going and um, continue to do that every year. You know, the three offensive linemen, you know, out of Idaho, I think that's Tanner from Pocatello is a, a six eight kid that can really bend. He's so flexible. I think he's going to be a big time player. Zion from from Coeur d'Alene is a, is Tanner's a tackle, you know, and Zion's a guard that's just physical and tough and and just going to be a road grader and get after. He's a great wrestler, you know, and then and then you get Connor from uh, from Boise. It's really right there. It could be a center guard tackle. You know, for the future, so that really excites you. And then getting Jack, you know, big running back from from Spokane, had the longest wingspan of anyone, any recruit we brought in. You know, and he's just if he doesn't end up being a running back, he could he could really help us somewhere on defense. But I want I want him to be a running back because I love to have big running backs that can come downhill. And then um, you know, I just think that's a great thing. And then Jace, you know, I watched him play for two years. He's in our camp, just a tough fullback that. Uh, Great wrestler, just you know, one of those guys that makes your team so much tougher, and just a great kid all the way around. So, you know, those five guys, right? You know, those six guys right there to, to get in our program is, and then Cade the kicker, you know, and, and uh, so that would make it six. And we're, we're probably gonna, we possibly we're gonna gray shirt Cade just to get him away from Austin, you know. So, but what that could do is right now Austin, you got the best punter in the country, and then when he's done, I think Cade will step right in and. And you'll still have the best punter, and one of the best kickers in the country. So very excited about that. Is there anybody else you plan on gray shirting here? Um, possibly, but you know, not sure. Not sure right at the moment. What about the quarterback, Cream Coles? Is he going to come in? Yeah, he's coming in. Yeah, yeah and then that's you know, he, he's a 10, 700 meter guy, a lefty, can really wing it, can run, make plays. Um, you know, Coach Erickson did a great job recruiting him, and uh, you know. When you, you now you have Matt, you got Jake, you got Gunner, and you have him. That makes the the future of the quarterback position look pretty great for for the Vandals for years to come. Was there an emphasis on recruiting a kind of different quarterback, like a dual threat? Not quarterback? not really, not really. We just went out and tried to get the best guy we could, and um, and you know we got him. So that was by far the best the best guy we were out there. You know, when you talk about difference makers, you, you have him. You have uh, Calvary Pew, the the running back slash receiver slash athlete from West Palm Beach. Um, you know, I recruited Calvary any school out of that. You know, that, that kid can really play. And then and then the kid from Bowles, you know, Trenton. Trenton is, you know, on defense. Uh, they don't don't come any better there. I think what helped us get Trenton was I think early in the recruiting process it was really Ohio State and Louisville that were on him all the way and I think that scared some people off. And then when those two schools didn't go on them, and I have a really great relationship with Corky Rogers, this high school coach, and you know Trent started for four years at Bulls, and you guys might not know that much about Bulls, but that's a big time school in the state of Florida. He played in four state championships, um, so uh, he, he Trent is going to be a special, special player for us. Talk about the uh, recruiting battle for uh, Denzel Brantley in like New Mexico and Nevada. We're, we're yeah, you know Denzel's a. You know, he's just a great downhill runner. He's got a really good vision. He can get in and out of the breaks. Um, you know, both Coach Eric Brown and Jason Shoemaker both did an outstanding job of recruiting him, um, kind of team recruited him. Um, he came out on his visit and just had a, you know, had a great visit, and um, that was another real good one to get. You know, that's two good high school running backs that we signed, so very happy to have him. So Denzel will be playing, coming in as running back? Yeah. I mean, everybody keeps listening to the linebacker on all those sites, but... Both him and Jack will start out at running back. And then really for Denzel, I would not see him redshirting. So would, wherever he can get on the field, the soonest. So if that's running back, he'll be there. And if it's not, then it'll be somewhere else. Coach, you just kind of maybe an overall thought on this class coming in and uh, just what needs you feel like you're meeting by this Yeah, group? I think number one in this day and age in football, you got to get speed, you know. So, and we really improved our speed, I think. The four defensive backs that we got through them are already on campus. We really got faster in the back end on defense, and that's something we all knew we had to do. Um, so that, that's a great emphasis that we went out and got. Um, and then I think to be a great program, it starts with the O-line and quarterback. 
and um, really happy with the offensive lineman that we got and um, and the quarterback that we signed. You know, and then you go the two young linebackers that we signed. Got to be really happy about them. Um, and then the four defensive linemen that we signed, you know, very excited about those guys. So you kind of, you have your needs, you say these are the guys that we got to get, and then you go out and get them. Probably the one that I haven't mentioned yet that is huge that we have to mention is the tight end. You know, Kalen, Kalen is uh, 6'5", 238 pounds, can really run, catch the ball, make plays from Baker Fields Junior College, and, um, and uh, he's a guy that will come in here and, and immediately compete to start. You know, um, recruiting him told him you need to, you know, you need to, Get yourself ready to come in here and, and battle. Never promise anybody a position, but um, we play with two tight ends a lot of times anyway. But he's a guy that um, you can see us throwing the ball to a lot. Did you guys plan on recruiting another QB before Chad's decision to leave? Um, kind of went back and forth, to be honest with you. Um, but when he did that, then we knew for sure we had to get one. But if he wouldn't have, not positive we would have been. But but then if we had the chance to get Kareem, we would have. I guess. That's kind of talking in circles, but um, kind of went from, hey, if there's a great one out there and we can get them, let's take them. But then when that decision was made, hey, we definitely got to get one and, and, and we got a great one. So worked out did, well. Did you, need, did you feel the need to replace his skill set as far as a QB who could run as well as? Um, not necessarily. No, we just wanted to go get the best one we could get. Talk a little bit about having, having Mike join the program. I'm sorry? Having Mike. Yeah, that's great. That's a great thing that, you know, he's he's different build than his brother. He's more built like his dad and his uncles, you know, that, that, that all played here. Um, he's got big, broad shoulders, can really come down, played at Highland Park in Texas, um, one of the top high school programs in the country. And, uh, you know, you watch his tape and he just makes play after play. And great football instincts, real physical. Um, you know, that's one of the linebackers very excited to have him. Did Matt help out with the recruitment there? Oh, no question. He told me better. You know, if you can't help get your brother here, then something's wrong. So, uh, you know, Mike's, he's, he's a lot, a little different personality. Um, he's a little quieter, but, um, boy, he gets on that football field and he can really run around and make plays. So that, that, was a, that was a great get for us. A lot of programs like to redshirt offensive linemen their first year, but you kind of proved with Stephen Matt like that you don't need to do that. Do you want all these with guys? Jordan Rose also. Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you want all these guys to be competing right off the bat and competing for starting jobs? I kind of what I believe is let's tell them right now, don't plan on right shirt. Let's let's compete to be the very best you can be because then I think from now until the season starts, they get better. And then we make a decision at that point if they're physically and mentally ready to play. And if they are, then we're going to play them. But if they're not, then we'll red shirt them. I don't, I don't know. Um, I think we are in a lot better position in the program right now where – Maybe they don't have to play as freshmen, where maybe Jordan and Steve did. Um, but if they're one of the best, we're going to play them. But hope, it would be nice to be able to redshirt a couple. Is, is your goal on the offensive line just to get pure size? Because with the JC guys and these high schoolers coming in, it's, I mean, they're huge. So. Yeah, but no, I, I think, you know, especially like with Tanner, that's one of the more athletic guys that, that – I, he is the most athletic offensive lineman we've signed since I've been here. But he's he's the type of athletic guy anywhere I've been recruiting. You know, you can guy you find guys like that that can bend like he can and are as athletic as he is. Those are the guys that end up uh, getting drafted someday. So you definitely got to have enough size, but really the athletic ability is probably more important. Is there any uh, other names that you're expecting to come in later today? No. This is everybody that we expected. We got everybody signed, everybody's in right now. So that's a good thing. Anything else? Awesome. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks.